Okay guys, we're going to make a hummingbird. This is just a bit of fun. Uh, it's inspired by a video I've just watched. One of Arvind Gupta's videos. Apologise if I don't pronounce his name correctly. Uh, his video is called Jumping Coil. And he titles it A Simple and Fun Experiment on Electromagnetism. So, so I watched that and I had a little idea um, as to what I could do with it. So I've ended up making this little hummingbird. It doesn't look much like a hummingbird. Um, I haven't made any effort to um, make it particularly uh, well. It's just a piece of blue tack uh, with a bit of foil stuck on it. But you could, if you really wanted to, make it look quite interesting. Right then, to make it, if you've got neodymium magnets, they'll make it better. Uh, a double A battery, some sticky tape, some insulated wire, a bit of thin cardboard, and a pair of scissors. Uh, what I'm actually doing is I'm going to put the cardboard round the double A battery so that when I wrap the wire round it to make a coil there's a bit of a gap between the inside of the coil and the outside of the battery so that it slides up and down easily. I had second thoughts and decided to make a double layer of cardboard because a single layer just wasn't going to be thick enough. If I'd have thought that the first time I'd have cut the cardboard in the opposite direction at a a longer piece of cardboard. Once the coil's made, we don't actually need this cardboard in the centre anymore. The wire I'm using is just some I've stripped out of some old telephone cable that was around the house. If you can get hold of thinner insulated wire, like the stuff that Arvind Gupta uses in his video, um, it'll make a better coil. I've no idea how many turns I used. Um, the more turns the better, within reason, and thinner wire would make an easier coil because it's the number of turns that has the effect, the electromagnetic effect. You need to leave about six inches on each end because you need some flexibility. So say that cardboard was supposed to just pop out of the middle but I wrapped it a bit too tight and struggled to get it out. Got it out eventually. I just wrap the tail round the coil a couple of times to hold the coil together. Give it a good tight pull. Check that it runs smoothly over the battery. Thinner wire would be more flexible as well. You see I've got a little pile of six neodymium magnets there that stick to everything. I've already stripped off both ends of the wire. Pop one end underneath the battery. It's held in place by the magnet. Just touch the other end on and you can see I've got it the wrong way up. Just turn the coil over. Now 
There you go, you see the coil jumps up and down the battery. If I hold it loosely, it actually bounces. Quite simply, as the coil rises up, it breaks the contact at the top of the battery. What I'm trying to do here is bend the wire in just the right way so it sits on top of the battery. So as the coil moves up, it breaks the contact. So it uh, oscillates. What I decided to use was use one of the magnets just to increase the contact area on the top of the battery. Unfortunately, I used the magnet the wrong way up, so it's actually stopping it working. It took me quite a while to work out what was wrong there. I could have edited this out, but I thought I'd just leave it there so you can see what happens if you do it the wrong way round. It's actually vibrating up and down too quickly for my um, camera to catch it. If you look very carefully, you can see that the top wire is vibrating. As soon as the coil moves up, it breaks the contact. If I hold it in place, the coil jumps up quite significantly. but the effect I'm trying to achieve is just for it to sit there oscillating up and down. There you go. If I put a bit of weight on the top, that obviously makes the coil work harder to actually break the contact. It has to travel further. And so what can we use as a weight? A bit of blue tack. So here we have the hummingbird. A bit of blue tack and a bit of tin foil for the wings. And it's got its little beak tapping away at the top of the battery. In this video you can see I've actually got a less powerful magnet. Still a neodymium one, it's actually one off of a hard drive. But we don't need the coil to jump up and down very much to get the effect because all the spring is in the uh, free wire there. That's it. Just a bit of fun.